Hello, 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 everybody. Here is Dr. Wawile, again, talking about different topics and science. Remember, guys, that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hmf.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Wawile, which topics do we have? Research, community, education, care delivery, hours, and achievement. The article to review today is Dreams Machines. Sometimes answering the questions of science requires creating new ways of seeing. This is a piece of laser scanning microscopes I was building, he says, of black construction beside a family photo on his bookshelf. This is one of the engineers, Bernard Sabatini. All right, he continues. Originally a biomedical engineer, Sabatini, PhD 99, the Alice and Roman Moore Tree professor of neurobiology at Harvard Medical School, builds imaging devices because it is fun, because he hates having trains spend their talent on labor intensive tasks that more sophisticated equipment could do for them. And because he is frustrated by questions about the brain, he can't answer with existing technologies he currently trying to stitch together three microscopes to get a broader picture of synaptic circuits. A lot of our ability to get data that other people don't have comes from our having built the hardware, designed the optics, and writing the software, he says. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind everybody that we do mostly days these beautiful reviews from the magazine of Harvard Medical School. I continue. Plus, he confesses Thomas Kirchhan, I just love tinkering with stuff, and a borrower, say Kirchhan, and a Harvard Medical School professor of cell biology and a Springer family chair of pediatrics and senior investigator at Boston Children's Hospital. His inclination to find and modify imaging instruments that can better serve his science has made him of one of people deeply involved in importing the latest visualization device to the quad. Faculty and staff across Harvard Medical School are adapting, combining, optimizing, and designing new visualization technologies to solve problems in biology and medicine. The fruits of their innovation range from microscopes to sample preparation techniques to imaging processing and analysis. Whether the components are tricky or custom-made, exciting men about the capabilities of modern optics is running high on campus as researchers and clinicians catch sight of phenomena they have been chasing for years, using the images and video they capture not only to evaluate but also generate new hypotheses. Microscopes now can be used not just for passive observation but to induce changes in living tissues, says Arlena Bigger, co-director of Neuro biology imaging facility and an instructor in neurobiology at Harvard Medical School. You become an active player. Imagine innovation convenes departments and institutions which inscriptly pull resources at devices required too much money or expertise to duplicate in every group. At the same time, many labs that innovate do to bring down costs and provide the right balance of simplified flexibility and effectiveness for users. Innovation also arises from multidisciplinary collaborations and attracts people who blend traditional specialties. Such individuals tend to share a seal for practical and for tackling problems, trying new things remain optimistic that solutions will eventually present themselves, and in the case of administrators, nurturing creativity in their labs.
The results we can look at life says could chosen to the is like results when people were exploring the world genomics, proteinomics, transcrinomics that were a snapshot of the composition. We can now bring cells dynamics into that and thus exquisite I wish could live a hundred years longer. Sandro Sangarta, the Harvard Medical School Assistant Professor of Pathology at Brigham and Women's Hospital, has been collaborating with Harvard Medical School faculty to explore the possibilities of new imaging technologies for pathologies and compare the finding to examolis and exine stains with purple and pink hue tissues slightly that have formed the black bone of clinical diagnosis for more than a century. Natalie Agar, a Harvard Medical School associate professor of neurosurgery and associate professor of radiology at Brihana Women's, used mass spectrometers to produce imaging to reveal incredible molecular heterogeneity with rumor samples. The first time Sangata saw one of Agar's slides, he marveled to how quickly and clearly he could distinguish tumor from non tumor. The molecules have always been there, but we have never detected them in fashion and used them for this application. He says, you start to see the power of these techniques. There is a flow of molecular information and we are just a beginning of knowing what to do with it. While Peter Sorge, the Otto Krayer Professor of System Pharmacology at Harvard Medical School, wants to extract more information from cells, cultures, and patients' tissue samples to better understand how different cells and individual respond to drugs. The typical method has been to use antibodies to attach fluorescent stacks to molecules of interest, but since fluorophore usually comes is only a few colors, one that don't interfere with each model, and most of the time researchers can study only two or three proteins in a given sample, that's no longer sufficient for those who seek a broader picture of cellular responses. To understand what's going on, you need to expand your capacity. You try to measure multiple things at times, says Hia Gling, a researcher associate in therapeutic science in the laboratory of system pharmacology. by inventing things, he completed together a technique that allows researchers to apply fluoroscope on three markets and a snap microscope imaging, then disactivate the tags in a chemical bath and apply three more for up to 20 rounds and total of 60 markers depending on tissue fragility. Software writing and adapted for Sorge's group combines the layers and allows scientists to manipulate 3D digital reconstructions of their samples to makers on and off and otherwise explore therapeutics of biological information detail into vibrant imagines. The team tube the metal cycle in monofluorescence or size CIF and it is half taking the Harvard Medical School pathology community by a storm since Sorger published the protocols, software and initial results online for free in May 2018. Commercial equivalents of CYCIF exist, but they are expensive, can run in many cycles, and sometimes use proper antibodies, says Lin. By contrast, the CIF can be performed with a few chemicals found at local pharmacies and hundreds of antibodies available on the market. It can be combined with Squidward microscope a researcher has in her laboratory. Or having done this in-house is not intended to pretend commercializing but to accelerate its order. The hope is well develop a clinical useful test so that when the patient comes in with brain cancer, somebody like Sandro can quickly generate a 20 color image to diagnose them. We 
become very precise I know with measuring the amounts of markets, the number of densities of cells and the relationship of cells to one another, which were never able to do with immunohistochemistry, he says. This year, Sangata co-authored a case study with Sogar Lim and neuro-oncologist David Reardon and Nata at the Farber Center of Cancer Institute, in which they reported using CYCAF to measure immune cell distribution and signaling in a patient whose rare brain tumor kept returning despite multiple surgeries and experimental treatments. The imaging indicate a specific immunotherapy would work. The patient is now in remission. Basic science applications are equally promising. Sogar is willing to explore the relationship among tumor, microenvironment, and immune invasion, while Sangata tweets at the amount of tissue now available for analysis. CYCI F can be run on top of H and E even on the case all samples. Alright guys, remember you can also download this beautiful article from our magazine at Harvard Medical School. This article title is Dream Machine and this has been published by Andrew Dashen is a science writer in the Harvard Medical School Office of Communication and External Relations. See you next time. Bye bye.